All right, so we're going to be installing Alka's custom firmware on a BL Heli 32 ESC. So you want to make sure you have it connected properly. So when you're connecting the ST link, you want to use the power from the ST link, and then you're going to open Stim32 Cube Programmer and go to Target Option Bytes. And we're going to change, we're going to unclick these sections here. And we're going to change this. This will probably be one. You want to set it to AA or zero. You want to click past these errors. And then we want to do a full chip erase. Erase chip. And so now we have access to the chip and we're ready to program it. So get your downloaded files and you want to install the full version and we're going to upload it to this zero, um, I don't know, eight million. So, and now right now it's ready to go. You can install it and you can run it, it'll work. If you want to load it and put an updated firmware on it, then you can connect it to your flight controller through the, um, the regular serial port that you would plug into your receiver. When you're connecting with the um, flight controller, the battery does get plugged in. Um, and then you want to open up the serial port connector that you download from Alka's GitHub. Uh, in the serial port connector, you have to you have to plug it in first. Uh, you plug it in with the battery connected. These are the settings that I use for my 1450 motors. First, we're going to load the firmware, pick it what we downloaded. And for this, we're going to use the partial files. And then we're going to flash the firmware. It's not really necessary to ver verify the flash. If it finishes, then it pretty much flashed. All right, and then we're good to go. Disconnect everything, plug it into your crawler, and you're done. So with the ST-Link, you don't have the battery plugged in. With the flight controller, you do have the battery plugged in. And that's it.